Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mills Garage. This episode is actually gonna be a little different than the ones that we normally have. Normally, I'm showing you guys jobs that I can do in my sleep, and I probably do do in my sleep, but this one, I'm gonna be actually learning some new skills today. And Ryan already has this skill, and I get to introduce you guys to a really great friend of the channel, our buddy Juan. This is Juan. He started watching the channel a long, long time ago, and there were points where I was at my super lows, and he actually told me things that made me feel really good about working on the channel and providing all this information to you guys at home. So we've got Juan here, and he is a professional welder. Yes, sir. And I figure with him being up in Delaware at Mills Garage Customs, he can show me how to increase my skill set and become more valuable for Mills Garage and learn some welding. So, we have our awesome welder here, our MIG welder. And uh, like I said, this episode is a little bit different because I'm learning. And one thing that I learned so far is that we are using the right uh, filler. I'm, I'm going to be screwing wire. up the wire. I'm going to be screwing up words, but we've got the right wire set up, and this is a 0.35 millimeter. Millimeters. One of the things that we're going to be working with is right down here. We've got a dial which has the wire speed, and then we have right here, which will be how much voltage we are actually putting through and having the current that will attach the two pieces of metal with the filler or, you know, the line, whatever you want to call it. Tell me in the comments what all the words are, all right? <laughs> what are we doing right now, Ryan? Well, some pipes so we can practice welding back together. Yeah, we got some of our scrap metal. We keep all sort of tossed in the corner over here. But so we took out one of, I believe this is Andrew's old pipe. But so what's the idea? How are we cleaning this up? Just well, sort right of, now I'm just cutting it. Just, just cutting it? Just cut it and um, later on we can grab a flapper disc or a grinding disc if you have one. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna clean the area where we're gonna weld and we're gonna go from there. We're gonna set up the machine where um, we get a nice looking weld. Cool, yeah. Juan knows all the right settings and everything. It's something that we, we've been trying to dial this in for a little bit now. And uh, we're gonna get all the right numbers running so that, you know, we can drop some silver dollars on there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So, yeah. everything is cleaned up real quick, and you can see, whoop, got the edges super clean, ready to be welded back together. So the idea is, we took the pipe, we cut it up, and then now we're gonna put it back together. <laughs> yeah. That's to go. Yeah, if, uh, this actually is a really brilliant technique for learning how to weld, so. Um, the idea is we're going to be working on a whole bunch of pipes, doing custom work to people's cars and stuff. And if we can put this pipe back together and make it, you know, functional and stuff, then we can do it to anyone's car. And so we're going to go ahead and practice up on here. What better way to learn than that? Yep. Cool. Guys, it's getting really, really hot in here. And I want to push pause real quick because I like want to take this off, but there's a lot of things that you need to do that are precautionary when you're welding. It, you might not get your hands on a welder. It's kind of difficult to get your hands on a welder if you, know, you don't put up a whole bunch of cash, but like you do want to have all of the safety equipment and you need to know that it can burn your eyes completely out like so that you won't be able to see again. So you're going to need a number of things. If you're grinding, you need some safety glasses. You're going to need a helmet. This visor, uh, this will lighten and darken as the welds go through and there's a weld flash and that weld flash can burn your retinas completely out of your face. You're never gonna see again. So how about you have all of the precautions and including long sleeves 
And, uh, you know, and we also have a welding blanket over there if we ever do actually run into close quarters and stuff like that. But um, there are other videos that are way better with these types of precautions and stuff and teaching you how to weld. This is just a, you know. Practice and learn from. Practice and learn and, you know, but at home, be safe. Always be safe. Yep. Yes. So right now we are just matching up pipes. Oh, and you're talking about the gap. Yeah, whenever you have a gap, it, um, you cannot have a big gap, but as long as you have a, like 16 or eighth of an inch gap, depending on your material, mm -hmm. it, uh, you get better penetration. Okay. Let's get ready and tack this up in place and we'll get it well. Okay, what type of settings do you normally run on these? So I mean. I, um, on my job, mm -hmm. since we're working with a uh, 10 gauge, um, and it's a bigger machine also. I run about um, 60 on the wire okay. speed. Cool. We run 60 on the wire speed. Mm -hmm. And well, this one since it's a little bit smaller, it doesn't have a digital voltage meter. Yeah. But I run my voltage somewhere. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> but I mean, we can start on the three. Okay. Because it's what, you know, I'm somewhere in the middle. Okay. And if, if it's burning too hot, then we can go lower on the two. And if it's not burning enough and you're kind of like bubbling your well, then you can go higher. Okay. With a 0.35, I would say somewhere on the three, we want to start on a setting three and probably on a 40 speed and see what the machine does. Every machine is different. Okay, cool. So uh, we'll run off these settings then, see what happens. And then, uh, yeah, work from there. Make adjustments, right? Yep. Cool. Sweet. What do you think? Do you like it like that? Yeah, it's So, what has happened so far is that we were having issues dialing everything in, so we took apart everything that was going on here, actually. Um, we took the whole welder apart, and then we were having issues dialing in the numbers. It wasn't getting enough power, so we tracked the cord down. We figured out that maybe it wasn't transferring all of the power from our wall through our adapter right here so that we could have our extension and uh, after rewiring everything, it is now putting down some beautiful welds. Just ignore the fact that my aim is a little off right now, uh, but we are still getting really good results now, now that it's all dialed in. So now that it's all dialed in, thank you Juan, high five. Very all awesome. Now that it's all dialed in, we can practice, you know, putting the pipes back together. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man.
Okay, first off, we got our pipe, and it is back together! Whoa! Really? This is cool. And so we started out here uh, with these type of welds, and uh, this is on a little bit lower setting. We got three and 30. 30 for the speed and three for the voltage for power. So you can see that looks that looks really nice. That's actually some of the first welds I've ever done. And you know, some of the first welds Ryan has done with the correct settings on this all figured out and uh, correctly set because Juan knows all when it comes to welding at this point. A little bit. Yeah, okay. A little bit. Yeah, okay. Um, and then so this is where we turn the power up a lot more. We were on four and did we turn the, the speed up too? Yeah, the speed went up to 30. 30, okay. So we've got a, a four for voltage and a little bit higher speed though. Burnt a hole right here, filled it in. Yeah, I didn't realize we turned it up and I burned the hole into really, really quick. And so Juan knows how to what, like basically refabricate metal with a welder. So he did something pretty, we turned it a little bit and this is what we were practicing is tack welds. So tack, 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 tack. And uh, it's a little bit different of a technique than just, bur yeah, it gets a little bur Don't throw my work. <laughs> Show <me. laughs> I, I, I'm a beginner. Guys, I'm a beginner. So uh, the higher setting is actually way more difficult. You have to be way more precise and way faster with what you're doing. Juan was explaining it to me. He welds everything on four. I'm a beginner, I like three. Uh, so I'm gonna be working with three for a little bit, doing these real pretty stuff, and then I can work my way up. Because if you see over here, this is where I was uh, knocking it out with three again. And you can see it looks real nice. And then turn it, that's uh, three again. And then right here, this is where Juan was knocking out level four setting on 30. And that looks really, really nice. Uh, so I've got a little, I got a little learning to do, but it's cool because we've got, we've got this pipe. I can cut that apart even more. We've got scrap metal over there. We're gonna build some really interesting chairs, I think. And uh, and to be honest, you should be proud of yourself. Oh yeah, I, not bad for your first day. Thank you. <laughs> and first time. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yup. So that is welding, and if you made it this far, you liked the video. So make sure to smash that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe. Share with all your friends. Juan, thank you so much. Absolutely awesome. We've got lots more coming up. Clearly, I'm gonna be learning way more about welding uh, in the next couple days slash weeks. And we can, of course, do all sorts of welding as far as you know anything you need fabricated for your car. And that goes for custom exhaust and everything. And they're gonna be super duper pretty. So make sure you're subscribed. We got lots more coming up. And clearly, a lot to learn, but this is fun. This is what the way that I like to spend my life, so. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome work, guys. Mission accomplished. I'm so glad. He came all the way up from North Carolina, right? South Carolina. Uh, shoot, South Carolina. Uh, shoot. 800 South miles. 800 miles to get here to MG car, so. Yeah, yeah. Su super stoked. Yeah. Cool, we got welds. Do, 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 do. I can put that pipe back on Andrew's car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks the same <laughs> as when we cut it. Yeah, yeah right? Wow. Back to good. That's, that was my point. That was, that was the whole point of the scrap pipe. Cool. Juan's a man. Juan's a man. I cannot believe. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, on one of the Mills garage episodes. Oh, well, of course. Nice. Oh. Woo! Hey Juan, is that your car? Yes sir. Yo. Juan started watching the channel like four years ago. We've only been making videos for four and a half years, so this is Juan's G35. And uh, he's been telling me all day about how he watches all the videos and then and then he works on his car with all the torque specs and everything that we provide. Yeah, man. Subscribe! Juan subscribed. That's how he gets his work done. The great one that the guy had an Cool.
garage. Thanks for watching this episode of Mills Garage. Make sure to like and comment below. And share the video. And we'll see you next time. Wait, so the, the specs for your fitment and everything, whose specs are those? Where you said? Yeah, um, I saw it on an episode on Mills Garage and I copied from you guys and did it to my car. Yeah! And look at that. That looks sick, man. Very cool. <laughs> Yo, awesome. <laughs>